I'm Billy Starr. I'm the founder and executive director of the Pan Mass Challenge. I started the PMC in 1980. This is our 33rd year. I've been a resident of Wellesley since 1990, where I live with my wife and two daughters. The PMC is the nation's largest bike-a-thon or a-thon of any kind, uh, probably raising over three times as much money as anybody else. We have a record number of living proof riders participating this year. 321 living proof riders. Please raise your hands if you're a cancer survivor participating on this weekend. We celebrate you. And we take a moment, please, to remember why we all ride and fundraise and volunteer on this weekend. I'm Eric Weiner. Um, I did used to live in Wellesley. I lived there for, for 12 years. Um, and I now uh, live in Boston. Um, I direct the breast cancer program at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, and I've been riding in the Pan Mass Challenge for many years now. I realized that I had enough colleagues who were riding in, in the PMC who, who were um, from our breast cancer program, and I started to have patients who would ask me about riding and who wanted to ride and I thought, how can I, how can I make this somewhat more organized? And we put together this team, Women's Oncology on Wheels, WOW, um, which is doctors and other people who work at Dana-Farber and patients and family members and friends. I started the PMC in 1980 after having lost my mother, uncle, and cousin to cancer in the 70s. And it really changed my life. Uh, made me think about um, the kind of impact I wanted to have in my life. And it took a while for this idea to gel, but it sort of uh, meshed a lot of my skill sets uh, involving, I suppose, sales and event programming and logistics. And uh, it, it definitely turned me on. But in 1980, when I created it, in an industry that didn't exist, um, I wouldn't say to you that there was a plan for 1981, but by the end of the 1980 event, in spite of how small it was, it was 36 people biking 220 miles, um, what I was hearing back from these people was that this event was filling something in their life, a psychic need to give back, a sense of community, volunteerism, and something very positive to do with the frustrations that perhaps they had felt similar to myself as lay people, uh, what could we do to uh, be a part of this war against cancer? My name is Deborah Yolen Raley, and I live in Wellesley, Massachusetts. I work at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, and I'm the director of the Physician Assistant Program. My sister's been riding on Dr. Weiner's team for the past four years. She was diagnosed five years ago with an invasive breast cancer, and um, we always said that we were going to do the PMC together at some point, and this is her five-year anniversary. It's a very big year for her, and so this year we decided it was time for us to do it together. I'm so proud to be riding in the PMC this year with my sister. She's, I love her very much and I'm proud of her and it's, it's going to be a great weekend. I love you. Go PMC! Team WOW! My name is Laura Brand. This is my fourth PMC ride. And just about six years ago I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, we were shocked, surprised, um, came out of left field. I've always been really active and really healthy and it was just an unimaginable diagnosis. I think being a physician assistant really helped me take care of her from both an emotional perspective as well as a physical perspective. Um, I was able to help her through all the side effects of the chemotherapy, um, but also just in what I do every day. I had been taking care of cancer patients when she was diagnosed for almost five years, and so I was really able to um, support her. Laura, like most of the people we take care of um, really figured out how to deal with that challenge and got through it 
and is now quite a few years out and you know, this is an experience that will be part of her life forever. She will forever think about all the experiences in her life before breast cancer and all the experiences after breast cancer. It will be a, 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 a defining, not moment, but a defining year. My sister and I have always been very close. We've been very competitive our whole lives. We're only 18 months apart, and so we did a lot of sports and events together. Um, but I think it made us even closer. The little things that we used to get upset about or might cause friction in a sibling relationship really don't matter anymore. We don't seem to get bothered. We have a different understanding for one another and acceptance of, of who we are. The weekend itself is spectacular. The logistics impeccable. The service is first class. If you like riding a bike, you'll like riding it in the Pan Mass Challenge. But the cause overlay makes it much more than any other weekend in which you get on your bike. I think that participating in the PMC turns out to be just an enormously rewarding experience because it's one of those times when you see a huge group of people. I mean, you know, we're talking about thousands of riders and what's almost more incredible to me is thousands of volunteers who are all coming together for this weekend and are all coming together to try to make a difference either in the lives of individuals with cancer or in the lives of people who will have cancer in the future. Um, since so much of the, of the money that's raised goes to cancer research. Since 1980, we've given $338 million to Dana-Farber Cancer Institute's Jimmy Fund. Uh, this is accomplished with uh, about 5,500 riders and over 3,000 volunteers riding on 11 routes through 46 towns and 360 miles of infrastructure. It's a very sophisticated event and quite frankly has always remained focused on the mission which is to raise money for the Jimmy Fund Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. I chose and I continue to choose every year to do it because for these two days I get to spend my time focusing on two things. One, just putting one foot in front of the other and getting through each mile and in a sense taking my mind away from much of what I usually do. But in another sense, very much focusing on, on cancer and the kind of work I do. So I always spend a, a fair amount of time when I'm riding thinking about both the patients I've taken care of over the, over the last year or a few years particularly people who haven't done so very well. And I think about where we want to go in terms of cancer research. And it all pushes me maybe a little bit more than would otherwise be the case to um, work harder and do better.